pretty well so if you guys need help with that let me know. Hi it's Tony Frank. I am a real estate agent. I am in the process of walking away from my corporate America job. Uh, Garrett Sandberg. Uh, I project controls manager for Sun Construction so uh, I'm just and I do the, the same stuff everyone mentioned. You got a couple of folks going. Andy was the center on our college basketball team. Forwards. Yeah. That could shoot. <laughs> <laughs> forwards. That's Stand the correct. tallest person, but the forward. I could, I could shoot better than him, dribble better than him. <laughs> so, no, here's what happened, to be honest. There's three D1 point guards ahead of me when I got there. They all blew up their knees, so I was the only guy left. I started oh. getting some of <laughs> But I was really, I, I knew I wasn't going to be the best player anymore, so I became the best partier. Oh, right. And then I also found out I was going to have my first son by Christmas break. So. And this is one of the most important things I want to leave you guys with today. We're not leaving yet, so I don't know why I said that, but fucking remember this part. So, yeah. uh, remember this part. You are never going to rise to the level of your goals. You're going to fall to the level of your system. So, you're never going to rise to the level of your goals. You're going to fall to the level of your systems. So you can have a $10 million goal, but if you only have a million dollar system, you're going to go make a million bucks. There's no way around it. Where are the loose ends? What are those things that when you look at sometimes, you're like, ah, I don't want to look at that. And then you move on, right? Like those honest truths that we all have in our business that we're lying to ourselves. And I wrote them down, and we have 37, at least in my mind. Miguel wrote his, Rod wrote his. But I had 37 that I identified. Like, hey, I need to solve this. Some were quick, easy solves, some were big solves. Some were hard, some were honest conversations, some were um, dissolving certain relations. Like, there was big, tough stuff on this list. 
So at first, what I want you guys to do is identify what are the holes, what are the things that are stopping you, like that are glaring truths in your life that you are falling short. The first step is understanding that those things are there. Okay, so now we have that list. I circle back. Church! Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry about the walks. Dude, I'm kidding. <laughs> Am I? No. <laughs> um, then I went back to the list, and I tried to write a solution to it. It's one thing to identify the problem. You guys, you are smarter than you give yourself credit for. Now go back through that list and figure out where, what can you do to solve it? Because here's the truth as an entrepreneur. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to come solve this for you. It's on you. You know what I mean? Like, you have the soul pod, you have friends, you have relationships, but no one is coming to save you. So if you don't get real with yourself and figure out where you're falling short, where you're lying to yourself, and what you're going to do about it, you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just the truth. Or, sorry, Lucas. I tried it. There's no one yeah, there. You're all kidding. <laughs> uh, so, but that's the truth, you guys. Like, and these are, are, are truths that we have all over our life. You keep telling yourself you're going to wake up early and get to the gym. You keep telling yourself you're going to pick up the phone and call 20 people a day. And then you don't. And I, Cole posted an IG on, on my IG yesterday about the difference between interested and committed. Right now, I think a lot of people are interested in being successful and they're not committed to the process. And the way to become committed is you got to get tied to a bigger why. So let's get some clarity around why are you all doing this? What, what's the point? Because there comes a time when you start getting a good amount of money and it doesn't really impact you. Like, you know, it doesn't have, it's just these digital numbers that are entering. And I'm thankful for those digital numbers, trust me. But like they don't give you purpose. And if you don't have a deeper purpose into why you're going to go show up and put these hours in, it's just, it's not going to have any sticking power. So today, you guys, when you leave here, figure out what it is you want. What do you want your life to look like? I can tell you, I want to wake up at 5.30. I want to get a full plunge in. I want to listen to a, a nice audible. I want to get a quick sauna session. I want to do 100 push-ups. I want to kick my, or cook my kids breakfast. I want to take them to school. I want to get into the office by 8.30, have my key meetings. I want a power hour from 10 to 11.30. I want to catch up on content and any like new business ideas or ventures until 1 o'clock. And then between 1 and 2, that's kind of an open hour that I can either go home early and spend more time with the kids and wife, or I can push for another hour. Then I go get the kids at 3, and then I'm done. I have that much clarity in my day. Like, I know what my day should look like. And as Jocko Willenick says, Discipline equals freedom. Some people would go, oh my God, I don't want that much regimen. I don't want that much um, discipline, right? That much structure. And I was that guy, because I'm like really nilly free. You know, I'm like, no, I'm not. no one's telling me when to breathe or do this. But what happens when you put those staples in your schedule, you now have freedom, in fact, knowing that like, hey, that's a non-negotiable, and, and I go get it done. You guys, there, there's a big key that you can unlock if you can figure out how to create standards around the important habits in your life. Does that make sense? Like, you're never going to not pick up your kid. You're going to be there. You're going to be there. So why are you not doing what you're supposed to do in your business? People ask me, hey, Tim, how are you so motivated? How are you fired up? And I'm like, dude, I don't wake up with lightning in my ass. I have to put lightning in my ass. And that got weird. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I wake up and I'm tired, you guys. I want to hit the alarm. I want to not go do everything I got to do. But I've set some systems in my life where, okay, I have alarms across the house. I have that dang cold plunge. If you go get in 35 degree water, you're going to come out a different person. You know what I mean? Like, I get out and I'm like, what can't I do? Have you guys ever seen that Pete Diddy video where he has the phone and he's like, put something in front of me. What can I not do? That's how I feel. I do weird stuff. Get, oh my goodness, you guys, get weird. Get weird. Yesterday I did a dry fast where I didn't even take anything into my body for 24 hours. Not even a drop of water, nothing. Wow. I felt like I was on mushrooms or something. It was great. I was like having these thoughts. And it was, there was some pain and discomfort. Not pain, but discomfort. But what was the lesson that I learned in that? I had the mental fortitude to get through that day. You guys, I wanted water so bad. So bad. They were just a Gatorade, cold Gatorade would have been that day. Chef's kiss. But I got through it, and when I was done, I was so satisfied. I was so satisfied with myself, 
because I completed a really difficult task. The message is only as powerful as you guys take it. This could be the catalyst for you guys to get serious about your business or continue to be serious about your business if you're in a nice groove. Or this could just be another meetup. Like the choice is yours. But take these words and go light your ass on fire and move. You know, I don't know a lot of you guys, but I move. Every day I show up and I lean in and I fail fast. I lean in and I fail fast. And then I collaborate with amazing human beings who have my same heart, my same energy, my same passion, my same goals, and I have their same goals, and we go do it together. It's been a blessing. I mean, I don't have a for I can sell that in 20 years, 500 years, and $70,000 now I'm showing them like the honest truth, but I can't have it. Like, there's a lot of money. Golfing. Don't get it twisted. 